Okay, so here we're given a, a general factoring problem. And as with any uh, general factorization, you might just want to start off and see if you can get a greatest common factor out of all the terms simultaneously. But as you can probably already see in this particular instance, that's not possible. We have x's here and x's here, but no x's in this term, so there's no way we can take out any common factors of x in this case. And there are no meaningful numbers that we can simultaneously pull out of 1, 11, and 60. So there, there's really no greatest common factor we can meaningfully pull out of this. So now that the, the greatest common factor approach uh, won't apply here, you can note at least that this is a polynomial with three terms. It's a trinomial, so you might want to apply a trinomial factorization technique. Now, trinomials, if they are factorable, typically factor down as the product of a couple of binomials. And in this case, that's especially convenient because here the leading coefficient is 1. So if you think about how things foil down, and in this case here, we'll have a couple binomials resulting from this. If you think about the structure of FOIL, the first term in a multiplied out trinomial that you get by FOILing comes from the product of the first terms of the binomials. But you can see here, because the leading coefficient is 1, the only way for this x squared to break down is as x times x. So that's how those binomials are going to start leading out. Basically then, all we need to do now to wrap this up and complete the factorization is to find the factors of the constant term minus 60 that'll combine to the coefficient on the middle term, that minus 11. So if you think about factors of 60, just kind of run through all the possibilities in your head. Eventually, you'll get to the fact that uh, 15 and 4 multiply to 60. And if you make the 15 minus and the 4 plus, those numbers then will come together to a minus 11. So if we factor it as such, say x minus 15 times x plus 4, minus 15 and 4 are the factors of minus 60 that combine to minus 11. You can see that's exactly what's happening here in completing this factorization. If you were now to take this and multiply this out, you're getting the x squared from the first product of the FOIL, you're getting the minus 60 from the last product of the FOIL, and then the outer and inner products are plus 4x and minus 15x that come together to exactly that minus 11x in the middle. So there it is, just by noting the factors of minus 60 that combine to minus 11, since the leading coefficient is 1, that's enough to get us a complete full factorization of this trinomial.